integrate x times the secant of x times the tangent of x solution. So when you first see this problem, um, at least the first thing I'm thinking of, is the secant x tangent x. I know that the derivative of secant is secant tangent. Um, so that leads us to think maybe we can use integration by parts. So let's try it. So the formula for integration by parts says if you have the integral of u dv, that's equal to uv minus the integral of v du. So we have to pick our u and our dv. So typically in integration by parts, um, when you pick your u, your u is chosen so that its derivative is much simpler than u. So if we choose u to be x, its derivative is simply dx. So du is equal to dx. That's much simpler. If we had chosen u to be secant tangent, then the derivative would be a messy product rule. Instead, we'll let dv be what's left over. So secant x, tangent x, dx. And we can easily integrate this. This is simply v equals secant x. And that's because uh, the derivative of secant is secant tangent. OK, let's go ahead and use our formula. So I'm going to go ahead and rewrite our original integrand, or original integral, rather. So x secant x tangent x dx. OK, that's equal to uv. So it'll be x secant x minus the integral of v du. So that's simply going to be the integral of secant x dx. And now we can finish. So this is equal to x secant x minus, and this is an integral that is worth memorizing. It's the natural log of the absolute value of secant x plus tangent x. So just from memory, totally worth memorizing it plus our constant of integration c. And that is the final answer. I hope this video has been helpful to someone who is working on integrals or just working on math uh, for fun. That's it.